Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Cam back at you again. I haven't uploaded a video for too long, it's been an incredibly stressful time. I've just finished university, the whole room that we film in has been redecorated, repainted, everything was out of here over the last three weeks, and also I've been at another house, so it's been completely and utterly manic, it's been insane. Uh, but if you follow me on Instagram, you will know what I've been doing. Anyway, today I bring you a lick in the style of a guitarist called Hugh Lloyd Langton. One of my favourite guitarists, although I didn't know his name until not that long ago, and the fact that he's dead. Uh, he was the guitarist for Hawkwind, uh, a really awesome band, and a lot of you are probably going to think I'm mad, despite my heavy rock upbringing, I suppose, and my guitar playing style, but he had some really musical solos, and there was one lick that baffled me for ages in a song called Motorway City, and it's a, a lick that I first saw used by Jakey e. Lee, but... I first heard it in a song in Hawkwind. Doesn't make sense, really. But I thought I'd teach it to you. It's a really cool, chromatic, sweeping idea, and it's really innovative and really clever. And it'd be interesting to see what you guys think of it. So, let's roll. We are in standard tuning today, guys. <laughs> And the lick of focus today is this chromatic run. And when played slowly, there are some horrendously wrong notes in here, but it's incredibly skillful and technically proficient, and that's why I'm showing it to you. And to begin, I'm going to show you what it is as an exercise. What we have is, I choose to sweet pick this, but pick it whichever way you like. And the way this works is we have the 7th fret of the D string, 8th fret of the G string, and 9th fret of the B string. And then you, you almost invert the shape, that you come back with 7th fret of the B string, the 8th fret of the G string stays the same, then you have the 9th fret of the D string, and then just come back around, it alternates. And you can press it whichever way you like, because as long as you get that down, and that's the way that works, but when it is applied to Hawkwind, uh, you have this idea where you go up, then come back down, you come back down if you like, you move up chromatically, so you ascend, and then, then descend a fret higher. Playing it like that, it sounds awful, but when you mix it all together so that it flows nicely, it sounds really weird and messed up, and when you arrive on the correct note, which is this, the 17th fret of the B string, it just works so nicely and it's so clever, so... Once it's speed, you can you can play it speeded up, but I think it should be played at an intermediate speed because then you can hear all of the well melodic chaos, if you like, that goes on in between. <laughs> it's 
it's it's full of madness this lick and that's why I'm showing it to you but you could apply it anywhere so let's try this I normally tend to play in pentatonic scales anyway as does pretty much anyone really <laughs> That's how I'd like to use it if you want to use it really sparingly. Then you could apply it to the higher strings. But it's all down to how you like to choose it, and I recommend using it sparingly. Don't become dependent on it because it's very weird. Thanks very much for watching this lit, you guys. I hope it's taught you something new and refreshing. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe. We'll be back with more content very, very soon. Take care.